talking about advanced readers copies that I got from NetGalley and this is book number four. It is called Creatures of Want and Ruin by Molly Tanzer. I hadn't heard of the author, I hadn't heard of the book, and so this was just me diving in. Green, totally green. So the main character, Ellie, is a bootlegger and she sells a certain kind of brew that is made by a black woman called SJ and she takes it up and down the South Bay in Amityville selling it to different people who are okay with purchasing bootleg liquor. This happens in uh, recent history when alcohol was still kind of sort of illegal because they made a reference to Al Capone and that was the first time I was like, oh. Not my time! So Al Capone time. There's also another main character called Finn. She is in a marriage that is slowly disintegrating and oh my god, it is so depressing to watch it go from bad to worse to worse. They form an unlikely friendship when they have to save themselves and the little town that they love from invaders who are coming to tear the life they knew apart. The story was very, very well written, and the description of the characters and the place where they are living is very, very vivid, so you can put yourself easily into the world of Amityville. And the only drawback that I have from this book was that it was so slow. Watching Finn's marriage disintegrate was not achingly <laughs> slow, but very, very close to that. It just happened over such a long period of time. I did not need to just wage through that. Ugh. I found myself skipping ahead to just find out what happens, then realize I missed something, go back and have to try and find it in the text. It was... It was a labor. It took me several days to finish this book. If you are interested in complex characters and their complex lives and everybody that they involve in it, this was really great. It was an example of very well done character development. They each had very distinctive voices and lived unusual lives. And if you've ever tried defending your home from invading forces or you like those kinds of stories, and these are not always forces that you can see, right? Sometimes it's just that ideas are spreading you don't want them to touch your family like how do you protect them stuff like that now, I had to cut this in two different parts because in order to make the comments that I need to make I have to talk about things that will spoil the plot for you if you are interested in hearing some of these spoilers please go ahead continue watching if not there is one more video just one more for the last book I will see you in the next video if you're leaving if not stay with me and let me tell you what happened So the stuff that I liked was that the characters had these large, huge lives that were very complex. It was really a great study in character development. If you are a writer yourself, then this is a great place to study different characters that are so varied but still interesting. Another thing that I liked is that the author tried to tackle certain issues that we are dealing with right now all over the world by the way people are fighting the invasion by people who have different thoughts by people who look different than them they want to preserve the good that they have i really admired her way of tackling some of these issues in this book Number one, the main character, Ellie. I couldn't figure her out. Was she strong? Was she submissive? Every other character was very sure about who they were, but she completely dissolved into something weird that I could not understand in relation to her boyfriend, Gabriel, her fiance. That was so weird. And that relationship, she's a bootlegger who's like out there selling this illegal stuff to everybody in the town. I couldn't understand this cuckold relationship that he sort of wanted to be in but he was the dominant character and she was just supposed to sleep with other people and come and tell him stories so that he could get excited like what is that not for the bootlegger who's selling shit like not that person the second thing that I didn't like is that they presented this relationship as though it was a wholesome relationship. Kudos for trying to introduce it in a way, some kind of weird, but it was still weird. I couldn't, I wasn't sure what to do with that. One of the other things that I didn't like also was how sometimes the author forgot what they were doing. Otherwise the text was interesting, it was written very, very well, but sometimes she would go into telling us rather than showing us. For example, Lester and Ellie, their brother brother and sister have a fight about something that is quite serious and without even discussing it or whatever they dissolve into giggles and say something because that is what they always
always did with each other. And it's like, no, don't tell me. Like, let there be an instance in which you show me that they have this secret sibling language rather than just saying, oh, they did this every time together because that's just how they are. They communicate telepathically. No, 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 no. You can't just throw that in there and expect me to pass by. The other thing, Ellie finding sisters who look alike. They're not twins, but they're sisters who look alike and she found it disgusting. That is a weird way to say that they creeped her out. Who finds them disgusting? So do you find multiples disgusting because they look alike, identical twins or siblings who... Like that was just a very weird way of saying she was creeped out by these sisters who looked alike. So overall, I don't know whether I enjoyed this book. I gave it a three out of five stars because the writing was amazing and the character development for everybody except Ellie was very, very well done. It is a study in how to develop rich characters who have interests that are not necessarily tied into the plot of the story. It was a story of good triumphing over evil, which I really like as well well although sometimes i do like seeing dark elements be stronger so that they're not so easily overtaken by good doing simple things that is that for this particular video please stay tuned subscribe and come back because i am going to talk about the last book that i read